my name is Rhonda Jacobs, and this is a quick demo on tracing blood. So this is specifically for Bio 1040, because in Bio 1040, we're looking at deoxygenated blood. In Bio 2070, if you're looking at this, you may be starting with oxygen blood, oxygenated blood, or somewhere else in the body that we don't cover in this course. So just be aware of that. So for Bio 1040, we're looking at the vein of the artery trees. Specifically, let's do a quick review of the veins, and then we'll do a quick review of the arteries, and then we'll go through how to trace a drop of blood from one region of the body to another. So for the veins, from the heart, and for veins, blood is going to the heart. It doesn't matter whether it's oxygenated or deoxygenated. It's going towards the heart. So we have the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava is bringing all the blood from above the heart into the heart. Inferior vena cava is looking at below the heart, and it's bringing all the blood from there up. So from the superior vena cava, we have the brachiocephalic veins, left and right. And for vessels, you need to tell me, except for a few exceptions, whether it's the left or the right, the name of the vessel, and whether it's an artery or a vein. Because you'll see, once you memorize the names for one side, it's very easy to know the names for the other, because most of the names are the same. And most of the vessel names are coming from the bones. So this will also help you remember where they're located. So from the brachiocephalic veins, if we're going towards the head, or actually blood coming from the head, it's coming through the jugulars. You only have to know the external right and left jugular veins. Coming from the arms, we have the left subclavian vein, in this case the right, right subclavian vein, then once you get to the armpit, you switch to the axillary vein. At the elbow, it's then going to expand to the either radial or ulnar. So remember, standard anatomical position, palms are facing forward, left and right is reversed because this is as though a patient is standing in front of you. Okay, so the thumbs are on the outside, small fingers are on the inside. The thumb is radial, just like the bone is radial, so we're looking at the right radial vein. From below, we're looking at the common iliac veins. As soon as we have these small vessels on the inside of the legs, these are internal iliac veins. On the outside, it's external iliac veins. These are one way, so everything is going towards the heart. I cannot go backwards. Beyond the external iliac vein, I can hit the greater saphenous vein. Again, that's a larger vein, but it's on the inside. Or I can hit the femoral vein. This is now going down your femur, down that big meaty um, muscle that's covering the upper part of the leg. And it stops at the popliteal vein, which is where your kneecaps are. Anytime I start with veins, I have to go through the heart the lungs, and the heart before I can hit an artery. So heart, lungs, heart will always be the same. Heart, my deoxygenated blood, if it's coming from above the heart, it's coming in through the superior vena cava. If it's coming in from below the heart, it's the inferior vena cava. So one of the vena cavas, right atrium, because remember the heart is acting as like a switching valve. Okay, it's going to separate deoxygenated from oxygenated. So right atrium, tricuspid valve, to the right ventricle. From there, it's going to shoot up through the pulmonary semilunar valve to the pulmonary trunk and arteries. Veins come into the heart, arteries leave the heart. It doesn't matter whether it's oxygenated or deoxygenated. So from the pulmonary arteries, it's going to the lungs. From the lungs, it's picking up oxygen and coming back to the heart through the pulmonary veins. Okay, remember? Veins come into the heart, but now they're oxygenated. So the whole pulmonary system is reversed from the rest of the body as far as oxygenated and deoxygenated. Okay, so now it's going to come in through the left atrium, the bicuspid or mitral valve, down into the left ventricle. It's then going to come up through the aortic semilunar valve, up the aorta, and from here it can now go to the rest of the body. There are a few slight differences between the artery tree and the vein tree. One major difference is brachiocephalic. 
in the veins, you have a right and left brachiocephalic vein, so you have to tell me which one. In the arteries, you only have one, because from the aorta, you have three vessels coming out of it. The first one is the brachiocephalic artery. You don't, you don't have to tell me right or left, because you only have one, which is on the right-hand side. You also have the right, I'm sorry, the left carotid artery, which is going to the head, and you have the left subclavian artery. From the air, there, the aorta comes down. So, that first vessel off is the right brachiocephalic artery, but you only have to call it the brachiocephalic because you only have one. I have two carotid arteries, but one is coming off of the brachiocephalic. And it's at this point that the right turns into the right subclavian artery. I go about a third of my way down the arm, and it turns into the axillary artery. Okay, from then, I have the brachial artery. And then at the elbow, it's now turning into the right and the left as far as the side of the hand. So if it's on the thumb side, it's on the outside, it's radial artery. If it's on the pinky side, it's on the left side of the, the hand, or the inside is probably a better term for it, and that's going to be the ulnar. Your iliacs are the same. So when you come down here, the only thing that you're missing is the greater saphenous. You have the common iliac, right and left arteries, internal and external common iliacs. Then you have the femoral and the popliteal. So let's take an example. Okay, let's say that we have a drop of blood deoxygenated, which is your hint to start with veins. So we're going to take a drop of blood from the left thumb to the right kidney. Okay, so from the left thumb, we start with the left thumb side, so we're at the radial vein. Get to the elbow, we're now at the brachial vein. Again on the left side, I'm going up. Once I hit a third of the arm up, or two thirds from this direction, I'm now at the left axillary vein, to the left subclavian vein, to the left brachiocephalic vein, superior vena cava. Now I'm going to do a heart, lungs, heart. So it's right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonary semilunar valve, pulmonary trunk and arteries, lungs, pulmonary veins, left atrium, bicuspid or mitral valve, two names, same valve. Left ventricle, now I'm going up to the aortic semilunar valve, to the aorta, I'm now leaving the heart, and if I'm going to the, what did I say, right kidney. So I'm coming down the aorta, above the diaphragm, it's the thoracic aorta, below the diaphragm, it's abdominal aorta. So aorta to the thoracic aorta, abdominal aorta, right renal artery, right kidney. So you're always going to start with whatever the body part is, veins, heart, lungs, heart, arteries.